And the next exercise we're going to do is on the beautiful music of the ballet Swan Lake. And in this ballet there is a white swan and a black swan. And the white swan moves differently than the black swan. The white swan moves with her movements more fluid and they never stop. And when the black swan dances, the movement, they are stegato and they stop. They have a beginning and an ending. And that is what movement is. That is what dance is. Through dance, you can um, express yourself. You can move differently. And that movement can give a different feeling. And music helps on top of that. So the next exercise, we're going to play with different types of movements to the beautiful music of Tchaikovsky from Swan Lake. And we're going to play with movements that are either slow and continuous, and we're going to play with movements that are, uh, have a beginning and an ending, so they are more strong and fierce and have a direction. And let's see how that makes us feel and how we feel after the exercise. So let's start. And we begin with being moving to the music as a white swan. Here we go. And move gently and just follow me or create your own movements, but make the movements continuously. They never stop. And try and move as much as you can around your chair. Use the space maybe to the side and above. And don't forget your feet. You can flex them and point. You can go to the front. And keep moving and feel that you move continuously like the beautiful swan, the white swan. But listen, here comes the black swan and the movements change. slow. And together they fly away. 